I've been asked to speak on this important day, which is Grandparents' Alienated Day. I started some support groups myself many years ago when I became an alienated grandparent. I was feeling so low, I was on the verge of a nervous breakdown, and it was a case of sink or swim. I started the first group in the West Midlands. A few people came at first and shared their stories, but gradually more and more grandparents who were cut off from their families came to the group. I then started a group later on in North West London because I realised how important it was to have these groups because we need to support each other. I've heard some tragic stories. I've heard stories of suicide, of GBH, of all kinds of illness. You wouldn't think these stories are true, but I know that they are definitely true. In this country, over two million grandchildren don't see their grandparents, and one in seven grandparents don't see their grandchildren. These statistics are just terrible and so sad. I've lobbied with the MPs to try to get some changes made in the law. I'm very lucky in having some wonderful people who back this cause. Dame Esther Ranson is a huge supporter and very well-known celebrity and we're very, very proud to have her on board. Vanessa Lloyd Platt, celebrity lawyer, has also spoken at two seminars at the House of Commons. Furthermore, I've had many MPs supporting us. We've had Matthew Offord MP, Nigel Huddleston MP, and at the last seminar in September last year, it was a pleasure to see Lord David Blanket come and give us his thoughts and his support. I had actually thank, focused all my attention on a national conference which was due to have taken place in October this year. However, because of the pandemic, this is going to be now held in 2021. Grandparents distanced and helpless are treated as a minority and overlooked as a group. A society doesn't understand our acute loss and pain. However, as a result of the lockdown, more grandparents may now have an understanding of this loss. Let me explain why and bear with me on this point. Grandparents being interviewed by the media are very often asked what they miss the most during the lockdown and they all say we really miss our grandchildren. However, these grandparents are still able to connect with the grandchildren via the internet, Skype, FaceTime and so on. For the rest of us, unfortunately, when the lockdown ends, the isolation is going to continue. For an alienated grandparent, the heartache never changes and we will still be forbidden contact with our beloved children and grandchildren. So all we can do, and it's so important, we must support each other. I'm in touch with hundreds of grandparents and I listen to their stories. I try to offer them support. It's said that this is a form of abuse. And yes, I do feel abused by my family who have not picked up the phone during this pandemic to ask about my health, my well-being or even how I'm coping. Grandparents' Alienation Day is not a celebration. It's a, more, a memorial for, for those of us who keep praying that the time will come that our children 
will realise how much we love and care for them whatever has happened. Our doors will always be open and we ask them to open their hearts, to reconnect with us and to accept us back into their lives. If we've learned anything from the coronavirus pandemic, it is that families are the most important thing in our lives and we need each other's love, support and understanding more than ever, both during and after the lockdown. The 1989 Children Act does not protect the rights of grandchildren and needs to be changed. Our call to action is you join us online because people power will make this change happen. You'll find us on Facebook. Look out for Grandparent Alienation Day.